Hello guys, welcome back to another episode of my Arsenal, no, not my Arsenal, my Roma career mode, I'm not starting again. That was an absolute fail though, but anyway, yeah, it is my Roma career mode. Obviously the last episode was uh, a pretty key one because we signed an absolutely huge player, look at the top there, Diego Costa. Woo! Now at the moment, Chechi is actually injured, so soon he will be in the squad with Diego Costa, and Lyot will obviously drop back to left midfield. And Jovino will drop into the substitutions or the uh, res reservation spots. Um, so that's just the way that's going to happen. Uh, right, what I should do actually is show you what's going on at the moment. Now, um, I've got these two games here against Rosenborg. I decided to... Is it Rosenborg? Actually, let's have a look. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Where is it? Yeah, it's Rosenborg BK. Um, I decided to not actually show you guys the first game. I won 2-1 and I thought I'd play the second game because it's really not an important match. Really. Well, it is, but it's not exactly a difficult opponent. It should be one that I, you know, easily should beat. Um, now, another thing I've got to mention, it's not very good this. Um, I had an issue where someone sent me some stuff on the catalogue. You know you can gift stuff. Um, some guy sent me the um, the financial takeover thing. And as you can tell, obviously I was down to I think it was 6 million or 5 million. And now I've got 58 million. Um, all I can say, guys, is I'm extremely sorry. I didn't mean to accept it because someone else sent me some boots that I really wanted. Um, I went to go and unlock them, but I had to go through the whole list of stuff to get to it. And I didn't realise just clicking accept would actually use it. So, unfortunately, I've got more money. So, I don't know how we're going to go about doing this. Obviously, I'm not going to use it because it's not fair. Um, what I was thinking of doing is just reducing this down to around the 6 million mark like that. And just ignore the wages. Ignore the fact I've got 1.2 million, but um, just spend the 6.5. So, let me know if there's any any other way you want me to deal with that. It's obviously a mistake, and it didn't mean to. I didn't mean it to happen, but it shouldn't ruin the series because obviously you can just do what I just did there and just uh, use the remaining money that I had before. Just kind of pretend. Um, other things have happened, right? The last episode I recorded a while ago, and I hadn't seen some of the new, you know, ins and outs of Roma, the new rumored players. So what I've done is added a few extra to the shortlist that have obviously moved or are moving, possibly. One of them that's already gone to Roma is obviously Nangolan there, the, the the Belgian, sorry, I was almost going to say German there. This guy is extremely good, he really is. He's Atletico Madrid at the moment in my career mode, but he is um, he's available, he's been there for a year now. Um, and statistically, this guy looks very good, and I was thinking, you know, Bradley's actually been sold to Toronto, where Defoe is going as well. So, Roma has sold Bradley, I could bring in Nangolan. So I was thinking of doing a straight swap, seeing if I can do it. So um, I'm going to give it a try and see what they say. I don't think I'll, I'll have enough, um, but obviously I have, you know, extra bit of money if I need him. Where is Bradley? There he is, always at the bottom. How much was he worth, sorry? 2.9. Um, I know for a fact that Nine Golan is more expensive than that. So what I'll do is I'll sweeten the deal, add 2 million. I've only got 4.5 left. Again, just ignore the wages. It shouldn't be there. Um, and that's just the way that's going to go. Um, Nani apparently is not joining Roma, he's just going to go, I think he was to Sporting Lisbon, Guarin, I'm not sure what's going on with him, Anderson apparently Fiorentina I believe, um, obviously I've bought a striker so I don't need a striker, Dzeko is impossible to sign, the bastard, literally cannot sign him at all, um, so really it's just defensively I've got to be careful here and maybe try and bring someone in, so I was thinking of actually loaning or just um, you know, trying to bring in someone cheap that can Fill out the squad a little bit. So let's let's um, let's continue down here and see what's going to go on with the the bid I've just made for Nangolan. Obviously, I want to keep this series kind of realistic, and bringing him in would be pretty cool. Transfer offer for Ricci, season long loan. That is definitely something I want to do. He can be a good player, but he's not perfect yet. Obviously, uh, get rid of those. Unacceptable. We cannot go ahead with the deal because we are not interested in the player. Okay, what I'm going to do is obviously I'll remove Bradley from the deal and I'll sell him on his own. And I'm going to offer... Well, I should inquire, really. Let's do it properly. Uh, let's go back out here a sec. Press conference, I can't be bothered with. Uh, okay, I need to remember to do this first. Bradley he needs to be put on sale. So let's do this. Get them all in order. There he is, Bradley. So I reckon I can get about 3.5 million for him. Um, he's on the transfer list. I already did it. <laughs> I forgot. I got it ready before I started recording. Um, so let's go back into, not search, I want to go back into my shortlist and then inquire instead this time for Nangolan. Um, okay, apparently I can't. Is it because I'm already in negotiations with him? That is so annoying, isn't it? 
All right, so we'll go to, where is it? Transfer negotiations. Sent in progress. Okay, we're going to just... Let's, let's try it with three. Oh, I've just included Bradley. Oh, for God's sake. I thought I got rid of him, but it didn't save it. That's my bad again. Um, it might be that they're okay with actually three million plus Bradley. Who knows? Unacceptable, right? Okay. So we can get rid of him now and make the offer. We'll go with five. I think five million is the most I'll offer for him. If I don't get him, I will go for a defender because technically in midfield is where I'm strongest. I've got so many midfielders, I shouldn't really need to, to bring him in. Uh, can't accept. The sum is too low and we believe he's worth more than that. All right. Um, this could be a bit difficult. Could be a little bit difficult. I could try and loan him, but he's a crucial first team player, which, yeah, we know how that will go down. Uh, maybe if I add Bradley now and make it 4.5, maybe that will be enough. Who knows? So unfortunately, again, Atletico Madrid have um, have declined, which is it's a little bit difficult because obviously don't I do have the money to do this. That's the most frustrating thing, but I don't know what you guys want me to do. So I think what I'll do is I'll leave it for now and you guys can leave comments below. Should I just be using that money or maybe just a bit of it? Um, I don't know. I really don't want to piss anyone off by using money that technically I don't have, even though it's there. Oh, it's a weird one. But anyway, we're going to play this second leg uh, against Rosenborg here. Got my mighty new signing, Diego Costa. His head looks way too big for his body. What is that? Um, but yeah, let's see if we can get the victory here because we're 2-1 up after the first leg, meaning we've got a great advantage at home here. So here we go, guys. The second leg begins. Not the biggest game in my uh, in my whole entire series, but it's still a pretty good one. It does mean, obviously, possibility of silverware down the line, which is exactly what we want at Roma. Um, but yeah, let's try out this new look team. We've got Grenier playing. We've got Matuidi on the bench if I need him. And obviously the mighty Diago, Diego not Diago, uh, Costa up front. Costa! Oh, it was so close. And again to Costa. Oh my god. I couldn't get it on target. We've got the ball back though. This team, man. I've really missed playing Roma. It's a really nice team, but I'm just giving it away like an idiot. It's a lovely bit of play. Come on, Costa, get in the box. Got to get crosses into this guy. Oh, that's nice. It went to the wrong player, but I still managed to head it with Costa. I will get him a goal. I will get him a goal. His first one. Javinio. Javinio. What the f... What are you doing? So useless. Yes, Lajic. Yes. That is an amazing block. That really was a very, very good block. Um, we're going up to half time here and I really should have been scoring at least one or two goals in this half but tell you what defensively Rosenborg are looking good but don't forget we're 2-1 up on aggregate at the moment and uh, I've had the majority of the chances I think the second half should open up nicely for me what a lovely bit of play he's just so strong Diego Costa he really is like a, just a pure muscle and Strutman oh what a save I still can't believe how he muscled through that and got it now we've got a corner. Let's put loads of curl on that. Oh, that's beautiful. What the? God, I bet you couldn't do that if he tried. Are you serious? Oh, you've got to be shitting me. Oh, it's just stupid. I've just thrown the ball at my own player's hand. It doesn't even make sense. You wouldn't give that in real life, but I know it's just a game. And Oh, that is, that is absolute bullshit right there. Luckily, if they if they score this, I can still win on aggregate on away goals, if you know what I mean. So, oh, I can't, I can't believe that actually just happened. I'm going to save it anyway. He's going bottom left. I can feel it. Bottom left. See? The game just glitched out, man. What the hell? Here goes Costa. He's going in the box. Left foot. It's done. What a goal. I don't know what he was doing there, but I tell you what. This guy can play. This is why I spent £23 million on him. Totally, totally worth it. The crowd go wild. <laughs> Such an easy little step in there. The defender completely failed his tackle. and It's an easy finish. Look at that. 80 minutes in and it's one all. There's the full-time whistle. I'll tell you what, this team is looking strong as ever. Um, but I really do need Churchy back. Churchy and Costa up front will be unstoppable so what I wanted to do guys before uh, I end the episode here is just go through a squad report and then we will move on into the start of the uh, the league 
Uh, we've got Lazio as our first game, which should be interesting in the next episode. So Ruffier, he's still growing there. 81 plus one on handling. He's got plus one on kicking as well. Uh, Cher should do well this season. I'm hoping to break 80 at least with this guy. We'll see how that works out. Benatia, not improving that much, although he is 27. The same with Castan. They should probably stay the same. De Rossi will start losing stats now. He's 31. I might have to look at using Matuidi instead, which is a shame. Ferenzi, another surprise player from last season, did really well. And again, I'm hoping to you know, maybe hit 82, 83 with this guy by the end of this season. Grenier, we just got already growing, which is good to see. Um, for some reason, Strootman has lost one on interceptions and one on attack positioning. I don't understand why. Uh, that's a little bit strange. Javinia will be the same, 27. Uh, Diego Costa, uh, you know, I'm not looking to potentially improve this guy to much more than 84 max. Um, because he's already 25, but the stats he's got is exactly what I needed in his team. Leitch will grow more, there's no doubt about it. Maybe 84 or 85 by the end of this season. Jedvaj, his form is bad, so he's not actually you know growing at the moment, but he's still only 18, 70 overall. Loads and loads of potential ready to be taken. Uh, Matuidi will stay the same, 27. Caprari, now this guy I really enjoy using. It's just a shame he's still only 71. I'm hoping to get him higher. Destro doing well there. Um, nice to see his stamina is going up even more as well. Teradosis or Turicidis, sorry, um, probably won't go anywhere as well. 29 years old. Pjanic, I'm not really using him, am I? I've been using Grenier instead, so we'll get him on the pitch as much as I can. Dos Santos, doing well as well. 24, still room for improvement for him. Viviani, the guy who was on loan out last season, I've now decided to keep in this season's squad. Looks like a really good player, actually. I have to use him. Uh, Tao as well, could be decent from Ivory Coast. We then got Crescenzi, Dodo, who I will feature in this season. We've got a lot of youngsters as well that I probably won't play very often. Romagnoli's back, really didn't do very well last season. He's still 69. Uh, we have Delisandro back, Jose Angel, another player I want to use. Skorovsky, my backup goalkeeper. Marquinho, I really like this guy as well, good player. Obviously, Cherchi, he's currently injured at the moment, but as soon as I get him back, he'll be straight back in the team. Maybe I can get him to 81 or so, that'd be pretty good. Another Churchy or Kirchy there. Uh, Bradley I'm trying to sell, but again, I don't really want to. He's such a good player. A few other youngsters that are all out on loan as well. So it's looking like um, the team is looking good at the moment. I'm wondering about changing formation, but we'll see. In the next episode, we're going to kick off the league against Lazio. So thanks a lot for watching, guys. I'm looking forward to the derby already. Please do leave a like if you've enjoyed this video, and uh, I'll see you in the next one.